This is a beginner's guide to 3.8. Welcome to Star Citizen. So first thing you're going to do is go to robertspaceindustries.com and you're going to make an account. If you do use the link that's in the bio, you are going to start off with an extra 5,000 credits. This does really help when you first start out. Next, you're going to need to buy your game package. So I recommend the Mustang Alpha. Go ahead and click check out with that guy. And then it's going to send you to a download prompt page. Click download installer at the bottom. I'm sure you can figure this part out. But once we're in the game, we're going to click universe and then you will make your character. Uh, there's lots of options here but for now we're just going to click randomize and then we will go ahead and click save boom next you're going to be able to select your location where you want to start off in star citizen there's lots of options here the first being port all star around crusader next is going to be grim hex around yella also around crusader after that you have loraville which is on hurston then you have area 18 on arcorp levski on delamar and soon new babbage on microtech but for now we're just gonna click port olisar you'll wake up in your bed at port olisar and the first thing you're gonna do is press f you'll be able to interact with the things around you including the bed you'll notice you're gonna interact with a lot of things in game so the next thing we'll interact with is the door and we are off First thing I'll show you is the movement speed dramatically changes when you scroll wheel up without even pressing shift, without even sprinting, uh, you can move a whole lot faster. This applies to carrying a box as well. Can't tell you how many times people have asked me, why am I walking so slow with a box? Well, you just got to scroll wheel up and boom, you're moving so much faster. Next thing, if you're using inner thought and you press F and scroll wheel forward or backward, you're gonna zoom in and navigate visually. This is super helpful when you're on the verse. You will notice in this game, there are tons of signs. Now, these are gonna be super helpful, actually. So we'll head downstairs to the exit of the Hab Zone. Boom, here's this big open space. Uh, you'll spend a lot of time here with friends, calling ships out, recalling ships, and maybe even helping the occasional stuck NPC. Sir, would you like some help? Take that as a yes. Godspeed, my friend. Press F4 to go third person, pan around with Z, and this is Port Allsar. Next, we're gonna call out our ship. Now, if you use this console, you're gonna see all your ships here. I'm gonna use a ship that you guys are familiar with probably, which is the Aurora. So we could retrieve it, but this is the name. Uh, the info about it, is it stored, is it destroyed, the location, Yella. First in Port Allstar, the status, uh, what kind of ship it is, the cargo space it has, the crew that it takes to fly it, and then we have retrieve and track. Track doesn't work right now, but it's for deep space tracking if you lose your ship. So we're gonna go ahead and, and retrieve our ship. So pad two, you'll notice, oh, boom, there we go. That's the landing pad over here. We're still going the right way. And those signs are really helping us out here. We go up. The stairs, boom, there's our Aurora. We are going to get into our ship using the interact menu. Beautiful. We're going to hold R and that's going to flight ready our ship. If we hold space bar, we're going to strafe straight up. Now you'll notice the circle in the middle with also a crosshair. Uh, and as you start to pull this circle away from the crosshair, you'll notice that your ship is going to turn in that direction. And if you pull it away harder, then it's going to turn even more. This is how you're going to navigate your ship and steer your ship. If you press control, you'll strafe down. If you press D, you'll strafe right. If you press A, you'll strafe left. If you press S, you're going to strafe backwards. And if you press W, you will strafe forward. So that's the basic flight controls right there. You're going to notice a speed limiter on the left here, and that's going to limit how fast you are going. So that's pretty low right now. If you go forward and you notice, oh, I'm not going very fast. Your speed limiter is probably low. So go ahead and scroll that guy all the way up. You're gonna go a lot faster. Now, if you press in, that's gonna bring up your landing gear. Now, next quantum travel, we see uh, yellow here. We could press B and spool, but we're gonna set a marker. So press F2 go into your menu and you're going to scroll the crusader scroll in scroll in scroll in until you hit yella 
and you're going to click on yellow and then you're going to go to the top and hit set route i usually like to click this twice then once you're spooled you hold b press b to spool hold b to initiate and boom you're going to be entering quantum travel so you're on your way back to port all -Azar from your trip and you're going way too fast so what you're going to do is you're going to tap x and this is going to be your space break uh or you can turn around completely 180 from the direction that you're going and boost the opposite direction and that's going to slow you down way faster and the reason for that is all the power of your ship is in the back so next you're going to see in the top right hand corner we have two symbols as we approach port all star we have this little satellite and then we have a bullet with a x through it so what the satellite's going to mean is uee is watching you any crimes you commit they will detect so be careful of that and we're going to talk about crime stat here in a second uh the other thing is armistice zone so armistice zone means that nobody can shoot you and you can't shoot anyone you are totally safe inside armistice zone except of course from the filthy pad rammers but we're not going to worry about those right now if you have to interact you're going to see on your menu here on the left uh, you can call for port all star landing services you can also interact with lots of stuff on your ship here using f your shields you can turn stuff on and off typically it is easier just to use a hotkey so instead of landing we're going to go outside of armistice zone and then we're going to hold backspace self-destruct has initiated oh no are we going to make it out probably not of the aurora the aurora is uh not the ship that you're going to escape from so when we die that you're going to spawn at the last spot that you legally landed which in this case is going to be port all -Star. we're going to stand up and oh no some weird glitch happened and we're stuck in the wall well if you hold backspace we're going to actually reset ourselves again and spawn again back in port all -Star. next in the top right hand corner this is your crime stat now uh, if we open your mobi glass you can see we have crime stat four here and if we go to call for landing at port all -Star, you'll see that they're going to say something interesting which is you are prohibited from landing at this facility the only place you can land with high crime stat is Grim Hex around Yella or Levski on Delamar. I will show you how to clear crime stat in another video. But for now, the easiest way is just to get stopped by the police and let them kill you. Next, if you're coming back from a big battle and you're all torn up, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to press F1 and you're going to go to your vehicle maintenance tab. Now, you see it didn't work here, so we're actually going to land illegally on another pad and what do you know it works also another tip is sometimes you have to repair and restock and refuel separately one at a time so it actually works uh, it will bug out if not so if you notice back inside uh we're gonna scroll down in our aurora that we self-destructed is destroyed and port all -Sar. uh so we're gonna go ahead and reclaim that guy uh, you're gonna have to do this every time you destroy a ship or anytime a ship is somewhere where you need it and you're not there you can expedite it and pay an expedite fee. I suggest not doing this, but if you need a ship now, you can pay it and it'll be significantly faster. It's totally optional. So next we're gonna focus on the contract manager. There are lots of ways to make money in the verse. For example, you could go take a investigation mission to recover a black box from a crashed ship. You can also do bounty hunting for NPCs and players with crime stat, both on the ground and in your ship. But for now, we are just going to take a simple delivery mission. Yes, the delivery mission. And we are going to be delivering a box from the moon of Daymar to another outpost on Daymar. Now here under accepted, you can see our quest. We can track it. We can untrack it. We can abandon it. We can share it with friends, which is sick. So we're on our way to the location and we're going to press C here. And what's going to happen is we're going to go into cruise control. So that's going to keep your speed at whatever your speed limiter is at. So we're going to go ahead and scroll that way down because we don't want to go too fast. And that only works in coupled mode. How you switch from coupled to decoupled mode is you're going to press V. Now, decoupled mode is going to look like this little broken chain, while coupled mode is going to look like these two little circles. For now, just stay in coupled mode. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Press I for engines off. We'll leave our shields on. This is a free fire zone. We'll head inside and you're going to see this Kovalex crate and you have pick up and drop off. We're going to hit pick up and boom, there's our box and we are on our way for part one of our mission. 
Go ahead and place your box on the ground by interacting with it. Press I to turn engines back on. Go ahead and head to your other location. It's on Daymar still, so not very far away. We're gonna land and we're gonna head inside and we're not gonna see a Kovalex crate here. There's just gonna be a spot for you to drop off the box. So we're gonna interact and boom, you get the satisfying green marker to put your box down. We're gonna go ahead and do that and boom. Your mission's done. So you've just completed your first mission inside of Star Citizen. So now that you've made a little money inside of Star Citizen, we're going to look at items. So the first place we're going to go to is the defense shop. Now you can buy anything off the wall here, but we're going to use the console that's in here to buy our stuff. How you're going to buy them is you're just going to click on the item and then bottom right, click buy and then confirm. We're going to repeat this for our whole armor set. Then we're going to head over to live fire weapons. So we're going to buy a pistol here. You'll notice if we click max here, uh, we're going to have six pistols we can buy. We don't need that many. We're just going to buy two. Uh, do not overbuy. Same thing for the ammo. We'll click max 71. That's way more than we need. So we'll go back to one. We'll say we're just going to buy uh, 10. That's perfect. Same thing with many pins. Make sure you have plenty. They're going to heal all your ailments. Oxy pins are pretty useful, but only when you're doing a lot of exploring with no oxygen. Next, in our equipment manager, in our Moby Glass, we're gonna one by one click on all of our armor, all of our weapons, all of our ammo, and our medipins. And then after we're done, we're gonna click save and equip. And I like to press this a lot. If you don't press save and equip, you will have equipped nothing. And then our bunny is here to demonstrate. Hey, uh, Snipes, what are you doing with that gun? Whoa, what the <laughs> You'll notice that your leg is now red. So if you press C here, you're going to be back at 100% health. Remember that after every use of the MediPin, you will have to re-equip it in the Moby Glass. Remember, remember. So back to Moby Glass basics. Here is the main screen for the Moby Glass. We have our UEC in the top left. We have our crime stat, which we got rid of. We have our suit, our external atmosphere, our vitals, mission and vehicle status. Next is going to be your comm links. So on the right side, if you want to invite your friend, Let's say our friend Ruby here, uh, you can mute him or you can invite him to party. We're gonna go ahead and invite him to party. And if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and F to interact in person. Another cool feature in Star Citizen is voice over IP. Voice proximity is gonna work by default pressing numpad plus. And so we're gonna say hi to Ruby here. Ruby, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right, man, how are you? I'm doing really good. Thank you for the help, man, appreciate it. Next, if you want to invite a player to your friends list, you do forward slash add contact space and then their name. You can also do this inside of the contact list on the main menu and you'll click add. Next, we have our vehicle loadout in the Moby Glass. On our Aurora here, you can change your ship components as well as your weapons whenever you purchase some. We also have our star map. If you scroll wheel all the way out or double right click, that will bring you to a wide view. Right now we have our Corp, we have Hurston, we have Crusader, we have Delmar and Microtech, which I would highly recommend exploring. And all these locations have different locations around them. There's also r, &R stations around the system where you can get items and you can refuel and restock. And if you double click, you can get a closer look and there's our station and if you're in a ship and you set route there at the top you can visit any place in the system last cool thing i wanted to show off is if you log out in a bed in your ship uh let's say somewhere random in the verse like that outpost we were earlier and then you wanted to join your friend let's say game in ride you're going to notice when you spawn back in that server a totally different server you're going to be in the same place uh, which is really cool this works for all servers so that is the end of our tutorial if there's a question i didn't answer and you want more info then join our discord or come ask live on twitch there's lots of people if i can't answer the question someone else will so till next time welcome to the verse good luck godspeed and i will catch you next time this is captain burks signing off